Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick with your political news roundup for Tuesday, May 25th. Could we be hearing the winds of war in Asia? Tensions between North and South Korea ratcheted higher today. North Korea announced it was severing all ties with the South. This after South Korea imposed trade sanctions in response to the torpedo attack that sank one of its warships and killed 46 sailors. That torpedo attack has been traced to North Korea, but the North flatly denies the charge. There were news reports in South Korea that the North had ordered its military troops to prepare for war. On Monday, the 28,000 U.S. troops stationed in South Korea were placed on alert, and the U.S. Navy began joint exercises with South Korea's Navy. Sovereign debt worries in Greece, Italy, Spain, Portugal, and elsewhere in Europe sent stock markets around the world plunging this week. On Wednesday, Italy's parliament meets to look at addressing its debt issues. Budget-cutting steps in Greece caused street riots earlier this month. Back home, St. Louis Federal Reserve Bank President James Bullard had some calming words for Wall Street. He said the problems in Europe show no signs of slowing down the U.S. economic recovery. A compromise plan to allow gays and lesbians to openly serve in the U.S. military won tacit support from Defense Secretary Robert Gates. The proposal would drop the so-called don't ask, don't tell provision that technically prohibits gays from the military. The compromise is expected to come up for a vote in Congress as early as this week. Former Congressman Rob Simmons is dropping out of the race for senator from Connecticut. Simmons says he does not have the resources to wage a Republican primary campaign against pro-wrestling executive Linda McMahon. She says she's prepared to spend up to $50 million of her own money in that race. Simmons had been considered a front-runner in the race against veteran Democrat Christopher Dodd, but Dodd's announcement that he would not seek re-election changed the political equation. That's your Political News Roundup for Tuesday, May 25th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.